that's one of the things that you have to remember um, about the two no trump rebids. Uh, just as, as as the one no trump rebid in practice, that if you want to to raise in no trumps, you have to go via stamen because of the four way transfers. Even with the three no trump rebids that are showing um, 26, 27 and 28, 29 points. If Responder wants to make a quantitative raise over those three no trump rebids, they actually have to do it via um, Puppet Stamen in theory because if it goes one club, one diamond, three no trumps, four no trumps is a transfer to diamonds. Uh, in practice, uh, although in theory, over three no trumps, four clubs, four something, four no trumps, uh, would be quantitative. In practice, we tend to avoid it. Um, that kind of a sequence because uh, it is ambiguous. Um, responder might simply have been interested in finding out uh, about majors but either opener shown the wrong one or they haven't shown any um, or they've only shown four card majors and responder was interested in five card majors so actually they may have to use that sequence and then sign off in four no trumps um, but uh, anybody got any questions uh, about that aspect of the Cambridge Heart Complex before we move on okay another one Now I mentioned that normally Responder bids the one spade relay. There are some exceptions to that uh, and one of them is this kind of a hand. Uh, Responder has five to seven high card points. Must be as strong as five. Exactly a five card heart suit and a shortage somewhere. Um, So here, South has one of the exception hands. Um, it's very important that you only do this with five card heart suits. If you've got a six card heart suit, then you're effectively guaranteed a fit. Even if North is 19 plus balance and only has two hearts. If you choose this route with six card suits um, then opener can't be certain uh, whether there's a heart fit or not when they're strong balanced if they rebid in no trumps and you you subsequently uh, transfer to hearts so um, or, or when you show one of these exception hands. So only do it with five card suits. Now if you've got a six card suit, just bid the one spade relay. And then when partner shows strong balanced, you transfer into hearts and you're away. So here, two clubs asks where the, the shortage is. I mean, actually, North has a pretty good idea where the shortage is, but um, 
they might not. So now two diamonds shows a club singleton and uh, two hearts shows a diamond singleton. So here, two hearts is is um, basically just forcing um, and asking for cubits. Um, this isn't. This isn't a sign off. Um, I suppose in theory if South really had a grotty five they could but it's much more likely that uh, North is simply wanting um, because the two club bid here agrees hearts. North isn't going to start asking where open a singleton is if they've got a heart weakness and don't want to agree hearts. This would go slightly differently if we were using asking bids, but um, we'll just Once North finds out there's a club singleton, uh, and uh, no South have got the Ace of Spades, there's only one place we're going to play this. Any questions? So that was a hand just showing. Um, one of the exceptions when the responder doesn't bid the one spade relay uh, the other one is a two heart bid which is showing uh, a spade shortage a spade singleton um, bids of two clubs and two diamonds over one heart uh, are simply showing a long minor with no tolerance for anything else and a very weak hand and almost always it is but uh, I'm just showing the process while it um, just in case South has forgotten the system you never know <laughs> um, they might have two shortages They might have six card diamonds and a singleton spade and a singleton club. You never know. It's worth just checking. Like I said, uh, in practice, if we're using asking bids, it would go slightly differently because North would have bid three clubs to ask about controls with beta. In, in South's known short suit and we would go that route um, and once South shows two controls again you would jump to seven hearts because they can't they wouldn't be counting a stiff king of clubs of, of clubs okay
Um, any questions on the Cambridge Heart Complex? I've got a little summary um, just before we do move on to uh, the 4441 positives in a bit more detail. No, over two diamonds, Octet. Um, uh, the two diamonds showing a club shortage. Then three clubs would be beta. And anything else is natural. And almost certainly forcing. Similarly, uh, if over two clubs... Respond to bids two hearts showing a diamond shortage, then three diamonds would be beta. Try. I don't think they're going to be very good quality. Okay, so those are all of the exception hands that don't bid the one spade relay. So one no trump shows five card hearts, five to seven, and a minor suit shortage. Two clubs and two diamonds just show um, uh, naught to four high card points and at least a six card suit probably more likely a seven card suit um, but certainly at least six and two hearts shows five to seven five card hearts and a spade shortage over two over the two heart rebid by responder then once we're using asking bids two spades would be beta um, and tends to uh, agree hearts as well and don't forget that the opener may well agree hearts when they're strong balanced. They don't have to have a heart suit themselves. Um, any questions? Hang on, I don't think I've got anything more. Yes, I do. Yeah, do have a look on the OCP website if you if you're not quite sure about. Uh, the Cambridge Heart Complex. Um, the way this works is is that once opener rebids one heart, they're either 19 plus balanced or they've got a heart suit. Um, So if opener is, is strong balanced, uh, but with only two card heart support, um, then they just rebid in no trumps over, over the exception bids. Um, or pass in the case of two clubs and two diamonds. But obviously if they're very strong balanced and they've got a good fit for responders minor if if responder bids two clubs or two diamonds over one heart um, then it's open to uh, opener to start raising that suit as an invitation or just bidding game if need be if they're that strong Okay, any questions on the Cambridge Heart Complex? I don't think I've got anything more on that. I don't have any more example hands. I've got some practice ones for later on. But I think most of the practice hands are on 4441 ones, which are a bit more complicated. Okay.
So if you're an old OCP hand or if you've not looked at OCP before, um, OCP no longer uses um, the original method of the impossible negative for showing 8 plus 4441 hands. Um, OCP's done away with the semi-positive responses of two hearts, two spades and two no trumps that way precision and old style classic precision uh, used to use. Instead we use those for showing 4441 positive hands in the range of 8 to 11 high card points and we use the uh, the three level suit bids to show 12 plus 4441 responding hands by bidding the suit below our shortage. So in a bit more detail And this is this is one of the few places in the system, uh, one heart, sorry, one club, two hearts, and one club, two spades, where we show a shortage by bidding the suit itself. There aren't many. There are a few places in the system where we do that, uh, but normally, and for example, with the three-level suit rebids, we bid the suit below our shortage in order to show the shortage. Okay, so that's if we're not using asking bids. Um, opener sets the suit because it's a positive response, so we're in a game forcing auction. Opener sets the suit um, inevitably or almost inevitably below game level. Um, or they can just bid three no trumps if uh, they don't think there's a, a viable fit or uh, certainly not one in a major or they can bid the known singleton suit i.e. over one club two hearts and one club two spades or one of the three level suit rebids um, as, as a blackwood or as beta um, the only the only corollary to that is that if opener uses beta or Roman key card um, rather than just setting a suit as trumps and looking for Q bids, then they pretty much have to decide the final contract over that next response because clearly responder doesn't know what suit opener is agreeing so whether you're using beta or roman key card if you go that route opener has to set the final contract over the, res the response uh, unless it's obviously invitational <coughs> more normally opener simply says for example, over one club, two hearts, opener might rebid two spades, which is simply saying, okay, let's agree spades and start cue bidding now. Or if we're using asking bids, then two spades would be an asking bid in spades, uh, setting spades as trumps. Um, but more of that when we revisit all these once we've got asking bids under our belt. So there we are, if asking bids are in use, uh, opener sets the suit with an eater ask um, and then we're now in an established asking bid sequence. Um, so the world is their oyster and they just carry on because they've set the trump suit, they just basically carry on asking questions until they decide to sign off at an appropriate level uh, in the agreed trump suit.
And as I've said there, over two hearts and two spade responses, opener can bid two no trumps as beta, but then uh, has to effectively has to set the final contract over that response. Um, that's normally going to be when actually they think there isn't a fit, but they are very strong and uh, just want to check about controls before deciding what level of no trumps to sign off at. Almost entirely, almost always, um, opener sets the suit if there is a fit somewhere and we take it from there. Okay, and again, we, we revisit all of this once asking bids have been gone through. Um, but if we are using ETA where responder hasn't shown an exact singleton suit, which is after one club, two no trumps, where they're just showing a minor suit singleton, if uh, opener bids three clubs or three diamonds as ETA, as an asking bid, um, or even as a natural forcing bid, then uh, responder going only one step over that is basically saying, sorry, you've hit my singleton. Um, so if it goes one club, two no trumps, three clubs, three diamonds is showing a club shortage and four card diamonds. And over one club, two no trumps, three diamonds, three hearts would be uh, showing a diamond shortage and four card hearts. Um, and then it's up to openers to where to go from there. Okay, any questions so far on 4441 positives? Or a fairly dramatic hand to start off with. Oops, sorry. So this agrees clubs, it just sets clubs as trumps. It's a million percent forcing. No. Okay, if you use if you use beta first, you cannot then use eta. That's the whole point. If you use beta, then you set the final contract thereafter. That's why almost exclusively we set the suit with an eta ask, because now we've set trumps and we're in an established asking bid sequence. If you use beta, then you aren't. Okay, so this is promising four card clubs and because if if South had a singleton club and four card diamonds, they would be four diamonds at this point. So anything other than four diamonds is agreeing clubs as trumps. So three spades is a cubid for clubs. 
and now North knows that South's got the Ace of Spades, they've got a Singleton Diamond, and they've got four card club support. More or, moreover, North knows that South's got 8 to 11, so they must have some other stuff in hearts or uh, clubs or spades in addition to the ace of spades. <coughs> so seven clubs is a pretty good bet, all in all. So again, the, the, the sequence past three clubs doesn't really matter. I'm just, just showing you that three clubs is 100% forcing and simply sets clubs as trumps unless South has a singleton club. If South does have a singleton club, they bid three diamonds. Anything else agrees clubs and is a cubit. If South bid four clubs then effectively they're denying the ability to make a qubit. And North can uh, bid on accordingly. So this is one of the 12 plus responses. This is 12 plus with uh, 4144 and a singleton heart. Again, if West was 8 to 11, they would bid two hearts here. So it's a cube, but I, I mean, obviously, um, East knows that West has got a singleton heart. So the cube bit of five hearts isn't really telling East anything that, uh, sorry, yeah, East that they didn't know already. In practice, you know, East uh, could almost bid seven clubs over four spades. Um, once they know about the heart shortage, uh, seven clubs is a pretty good bet. Knowing that West has got 
12 points or more opposite this hand and that uh, West isn't in a position to cubit anything in diamonds so there's not likely to be any wastage in diamonds um, Okay, so that was one of the stronger ones. Um, have I got any more? No, that'll do for now. Okay, any questions before we move on to looking at uh, when there's some interference in front of the 4441 response? This is when it starts to get a little bit more complicated. Okay. Okay, so the basic rule over interference, and this is only really dealing with interference immediately over the one club opening. If the interference comes after uh, the 4441 positive has been shown, it's slightly different. Um, and because uh, we now have a pretty good idea what responder does, even if we're not using asking bids, um, we're pretty much in a natural bidding sequence now. Um, Once we are using asking bids, um, again, the, the way forward is fairly clear. So the complications come when there's interference immediately over the one club bid and responder has a positive 4441. So the basic rule is that we try and stick to what I've already shown you if we can. And the only time that we have to start thinking about doing something different is when the, the response that we were intending to use, and this mainly applies to the two heart, two spades, and two no trump responses, if those are needed to show a normal positive. So I'll, I'll unpick that a little bit more. So, if the interference is a double or a one diamond overcall or even a one heart overcall, then all of our 4441 positives are completely unaffected. If we've got a singleton heart, we were going to bid two hearts and we can still bid two hearts. It's unlikely that we're ever going to want to show a heart positive. <coughs> i.e. five card hearts when ops have overcalled one heart unless it specifically shows something else um, similarly if we were going to show a spade singleton we can do that over a double or one diamond or one heart we can still bid two spades uh, to show our spade singleton and, and so that's unaffected Similarly, the two no trump uh, response is unaffected. Now, so if it if the interference is an overcall of one spade, now we need two hearts to show a heart suit. So two hearts isn't available to show a 4, 1, 4, 4, 8 to 11 with a singleton heart because we need it to show 8 plus with hearts. 
over a one spade bid. Um, so now what we do is that the two spade response plays double duty, shows is has to do double duty to show a little bit like <coughs> two no trump shows a minor shoot shortage. Now over a one heart over call, two spades shows a major suit shortage in either major. And a little bit like we were going to do over the two no trump bid, now if uh, Oakner bids a major but hits um, responds as singleton, then we simply relay in the next suit to show that. And anything else effectively is agreeing that major and would be a cubid if we're um, not playing asking bids or would be an eater response if we were playing asking bids. So if we are playing asking bids um, then a bit of a major suit would be eater but it has an extra first step inserted in the scale that simply says you hit my my singleton here um, try again or bid no trumps okay any questions about um, action over a one spade overcall um, obviously the minor suit overcall sorry the minor suit shortages of two no trumps are unaffected over one spade so we can still bid two no trumps to show eight to eleven four four one with a, a minor suit singleton so those are unaffected it's only and we can still bid two spades over one spade to show a spade singleton so it's over one spade it's only the heart uh, four 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 one positive that is affected Similarly, all of the 12 plus ones are also unaffected because we simply bid at three level like we were going to. Okay, so over one no trump, a one no trump over call, we've. It is, Barry, um, and you have to think on your feet slightly if if they aren't um, you know if people are playing suction then then you have to think on your feet a little bit in terms of what's being lost and what isn't being lost but there are so many different potential defenses to to one club that you can't really make up specific rules you just have to try and cope as best you can but hopefully the um, the other things I'm going to cover in a minute will make it clear what your options are uh, especially if ops are playing uh, artificial overcalls over over one club So over one no trump we need two hearts and two spades to show major suit positives with five plus card suits. <coughs> so now what we do is slightly different. Um, now we start lying basically. <laughs> the first option is that we show a positive in a four card minor as long as it's not a suit that ops have promised. So if one no trump shows both minors, then you can't do this. Okay. Um, but if, for example, one no shump, trump shows both majors or both minors now you could bid a four card minor as a normal positive okay you've only got a four card suit 
Um, but in these circumstances, uh, Opener simply has to bear in mind, at, at the back of their mind, the possibility that you might have a 4441 positive and actually your your responses to show a positive are constrained. So if, they, if, if one no chump is, is basically a two suitor with the same rank, for example, then they haven't specifically promised anything. And so we could just bid their cheapest four card minor as a positive. So if you can if you can bid clubs, you bid two clubs. If you can't, you bid two diamonds. Um, So, for example, if uh, one no trump shows both minors, and uh, responder can't show a four card minor, then they've got the option of making a trap pass or a double showing five to seven. Um, And they could later on make some kind of a, I, I, I know I've said that impossible negatives have gone out the window, but there are circumstances where it's obvious if you start taking some kind of action that's completely inconsistent with your bidding thus far, that something a little bit weird is going on. Uh, and so the impossible negative would probably show the suit below their singleton. Or if you make a trap pass, obviously, and the one club opener reopens with a double, you've got the option of passing that for penalties. So one no trump is a little bit awkward, potentially, in because positive doubles haven't kicked in. Um, and if you've got an 11 count, you might be reluctant to make a double that shows 5 to 7. But the nice thing is that if you do make a double that shows five to seven, it's very unlikely that opener is going to pass that. So they're going to bid something. So if you did have that 11 count, it's fairly easy to, to come up with a, a sensible rebid after that um, and get to something playable at least. Any questions so far before we... Uh, look at slightly higher overcalls. So again, if it goes one club, one no trump, and you were intending to bid one no trump yourself, Um, bearing in mind that over any interference, the the one no trump, uh, one spade swap goes if there's any interference at all. So if you were intending showing a balanced hand over uh, one club, then you can either... Um, almost certainly double for penalties um, and again if you're showing five to seven opener knows that we've got the balance of the points um, and depending on the vulnerability we'll quite often pass that <coughs> um, but if you bid two no trumps over one no trump um, then then this is still showing eight to eleven 4441 with a minor suit singleton.
So if the overcall is at the two level, then none of our normal methods for showing eight to eleven four 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 ones are available. We can't bid two hearts or two spades because they're needed for uh, major suit positives, and we can't bid two no trumps because that's needed for a balance positive. So in those circumstances, we do one of the following. So if ops have, have bid a suit or shown a suit in which we have a singleton, then we can simply qubit that suit. That's always showing a singleton in one of their suits and obviously four cards everywhere else. So if it goes one club and then an overcall of two diamonds showing both majors, now two spades is eight plus unlimited with a singleton spade. And subsequent bidding is essentially natural if we're not playing asking bids. A responder can also use one of the methods available over one club, one no trump, i.e. trap passes, doubles, four card positive as a minor, in a minor. Um, So let's say one club, two hearts is, is a, an artificial overcall showing both majors. Um, now, three clubs might be a normal five card positive, but it could also be used with a 4441 with four card clubs and a singleton diamond. Because if, if Responder had a major suit singleton, and ops have shown both majors, they'd be more likely to qubit that major to show a singleton there and four cards everywhere else. Don't forget that, that at some point, um, and exactly where this is, depends on, on your partnership agreement. The system says two spades, but some people kick positive doubles into action at a lower level than two spades. Um, I don't know of anybody who goes higher than two spades. Uh, then a positive double is a good alternative, um, especially if you've got four cards in their suit. If you had a singleton in their suit, you would tend to qubit it. Right, let's just uh, let's just send this hand again. That's just showing hearts. He did. Barry. It won one club three diamonds in the last version of this hand. So
Well, no, as you can see, with with um. Oh, I see. Sorry. With which hand, though, Barry? All I'm all I, all I've said there is that three clubs or three diamonds um, might be a normal five card positive but if it's three clubs it's possible that it's four four one four with a singleton diamond if they had a a major suit shortage they'd be more likely to cubid the major over two hearts Is that clear? With 4 4 1 4 and a singleton diamond, no, they wouldn't bid three diamonds. They would bid three clubs, which is a slight lie because it's a club positive. So Opener will be ostensibly expecting five plus clubs. Then you bid three diamonds. You, you know, if you're going to use that route, you bid the cheapest four card, four card minor that you can. But what you can't be is you you can't be four four in the minors with a singleton and a major because if if ops have shown both majors, then you would cubid that major. The main thing about the cubids is that they are, in principle, they are now 8 plus unlimited. Um, so we've, we've almost taken away the differential between 8 to 11 and 12 plus. The cubids of their suit are 8 plus unlimited. Because it's so good for us. Um, because we've almost certainly got to fit somewhere else. Okay, so here, two hearts was just showing hearts. Three hearts is eight plus unlimited, four, one, four, four with a singleton heart. So again, this would be Eater if we are playing Asking Bids, but it's just natural and forcing if we aren't. So this is, if we're not playing Asking Bids for clubs, is simply saying, right, clubs is where we're going to play. I know you've got a singleton heart, so you must have four card clubs. And now we just cubit our way up to seven clubs. not going to waste time on, on the subsequent bidding um, but you get the idea so the cubit of their suit is 8 plus unlimited with a singleton there and 4 cards in everything else
Okay, so we don't need to do anything different here. Two no trumps is a positive 4441 with 8 to 11 high card points and a minor suit singleton. So three spades sets the trump suit because East knows that West has got four card spades. And by inference, um, <coughs> I think you would have to to say that this is showing this is a cubid showing the ace of clubs and a singleton diamond. It's not showing a singleton club and four card diamonds. I don't think West would bother to Cupid when they had such length in Cupid their singleton, I mean, if they had length in op suit. Um, I think if they had that, they would probably bid four spades <coughs> over three spades. So this almost certainly has to be a singleton diamond and the ace of clubs. So that's just confirming the diamond shortage. Okay. Any questions on uh, positive four 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 ones? If you need this topic in more detail. Um, then go and look at the website or uh, and go and look at the forums because there's quite a few uh, posts on positive 4441s from back in the period when we were changing this uh, and there's a long post in the section on changes to OCP West bid two diamonds. Yes, I think you wouldn't. Uh, it couldn't be. It couldn't be a diamond positive because we just wouldn't bother doing it. We would probably bid one no trump if you had a diamond positive, and they'd bid one diamond naturally. So two diamonds here would be eight plus. 4414 with a singleton diamond in practice but um, uh, the, the system isn't defined that closely because the two no trump bid is available um, normally the Q bids are bids at the three level Barry um, it's never come up here that West has got the kind of hand that they have and they actually get a chance to bid two diamonds rather than a Q bid at three level. When I was writing the specification for these, it was almost always going to be the case that the Q bid would be at the three level. This is one where potentially you do have a Q bid at the two level, but it's never arisen. It didn't enter into my calculations in terms of how it could go, but in theory, if, if West had a diamond positive, then they'd be more likely to bid no trumps, one no trump, over one diamond, which would just be a positive, a balanced positive. Um, obviously, if one diamond was artificial, if it was suction or something like that, uh, now two diamonds is potentially needed as a diamond positive. But if one diamond was ostensibly natural, we would never bother to show 
a diamond positive by bidding diamonds. We would either show a balance positive or a trap pass. Um, so in theory, two diamonds could be the 8 plus unlimited 4414 shape. Um, but as far as the system goes, in practice, two no trumps is what they would bid. I know it's more expensive, um, but it just gets too complicated if we try and anticipate every single possible thing uh, that ops might do, even if it's nonsensical. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Um, Can I have four victims, please? Come on, don't be shy. Come on, anybody, please. Thank you, John. Three more. Thank you very much. So two spades is eight to eleven. One four 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 with his singleton spade. Mehmet has gone into a trance. It's a bit like giving an Irishman a shovel and a spade and asking him to take his pick. I think don't use asking bids, Mehmet, if that's what you're thinking of. Just imagine you didn't have asking bids in the equation here. Okay, so if, if we were using asking bids, three clubs would be an asking bid. But we're just going to treat it as natural and forcing here, setting clubs as trumps.
So there's no confusion here. North knows that South's got a singleton spade. Um, I thought we weren't using asking bids, John. So this will be quite illustrative. Okay, so forget that alert by full disclosure. Four clubs is basically saying, okay, I agree clubs, but there's nothing I can cubit here that's worth cubiting. What South is telling North here is, I don't have the ability to make a cubid in diamonds or hearts. I don't have the stiff ace of spades, so it's not worth my showing my spade shortage again. And basically, what North can tell is that South doesn't have the ace of diamonds, doesn't have the king of diamonds. They can't have anything much in hearts and they wouldn't bother to count any points that they had in spades because it's their singleton. So pretty much all of their points are in clubs. So actually, Mehmet here should probably just bid six clubs over four clubs. Because clearly South has almost all of their points in clubs. I suppose in theory South might have the Jack of Hearts, the Queen Jack of Diamonds and the Ace of Clubs. That's possible. But for most purposes it's almost certain that South has um, not very much in either Red Suit and the Ace King of Clubs here. That's, what, that's the message that Four Clubs is basically sending. Mehmet, just bid six clubs. This is this is this is like a grand slam force here. You'll be lucky if South doesn't bid seven clubs over this. If if Mehmet, the point is, if South can't make a Q bid over three clubs. Then, then pretty much they've told you what their hand is when he bids four clubs. So actually you could just bid six clubs over four clubs. The four diamond bid by you hasn't added anything and their five club bid hasn't added anything. 
you know they've got eight plus eight to eleven points and unless they've got a bare minimum eight and the jack of hearts and the queen jack of diamonds they pretty much have to have the ace king of clubs if they can't cupid anything in diamonds okay all right anybody else got any questions have we had a claim if not, can North claim, please? Or can somebody claim? <coughs> Thank you. Okay, in a minute. Hey. Yes. In a minute. No, I was just blowing you a kiss. Right, you were waving your mug at me as oh, if you were... Ah, oh, right, okay. I just blew my hubby a kiss. <laughs> First time in 20 years. <laughs> right, anybody got any questions on this, this hand? So there's some nice negative inferences. Esther says hi. Hi, Esther. Big hug. <laughs> um... It's, it's entirely up to North, which suit he agrees, but with a nine-card fit and an eight-card fit, um, it's, it's arguably safer to go for the, the nine-card fit. Uh, you'll have to ask Mehmet as to why. If I was playing pairs, I would definitely be going for the eight-card fit in hearts, but at teams, it's arguable that it doesn't really matter. Okay. But it's just down to what North decided, which suit they decided to agree they could do either. Excuse me, I've got a bad cough and cold. <sighs> yeah, I've got a much better cure for it, which would be giving up smoking, but that's not happening tonight. Again, East West, please imagine no asking bids here. Just natural bidding. has gone into a trance. Okay, well done. Very good. So here, two hearts showed 8 to 11 with a singleton heart and four cards elsewhere. And three no trumps is just natural. 
Um, and you might seem a little bit odd with a singleton spade. Um, but in practice, East can tell that uh, West almost certainly has at least one spade stop. Even if they've got the Ace, Queen of Clubs. They won't be counting anything in hearts. They can only possibly have the Queen of Diamonds. So the chances of them not having a spade stop are pretty much zero. And we do know they've got four card spades. So that's a pretty good bet. Any questions? I'll be back in a minute. I'm not offering you dinner yet. Where are we up to? One club, one diamond. Oh, yeah. Alright, well, give me two back then. Give me two back. Uh huh. Not entirely sure what's going on here. So at the moment, West. Um, For the sake of example, let's say no. But Mehmet, why why have you bid one no Trump? No, Mehmet. It's two no trumps.
That's right. You've got natural bidding and Roman key card, John. Because there are people here who haven't even looked at asking bids. Potentially. Yes. Okay. Well done. Okay, how else could this have been bid over two no trumps? Anybody? Without asking bids. Because South knows North's exact shape. Well, there is, but it's only agreed at the five level, Malcolm. Thing is, two no trumps is game forcing. And it's promising 4-4 in the majors. So South can bid three hearts to show hearts and set hearts as trumps. Yep. And now North can bid four clubs over three hearts to Q bid the ace of clubs. And it can't be anything other than a Q-bid for hearts. Now four no trumps. Yep. Indeed, because of the diamond situation, there's a good case for South just bidding four hearts over two no trumps, which would just be to play. The one diamond overcall has ripped South's hand to shreds to some extent. Yeah, I, I mean, that's the beauty of of just having natural bids available below game level, even if you're not using asking bids, is that South can just bid three hearts over three diamonds. 
or four hearts over four diamonds. At least if East bids diamonds, South can be 100% certain that North's got a singleton diamond. And not four card diamonds and a singleton club, which would be even horrible, more horrible. Any questions? I'll be back. Uh-huh, always. This is looking very good. All right, John, you're welcome. Cheers, mate. Hmm? Heading off somewhere. We've got to go. Bye, John. Anybody else want to sit south? Okay. Um, claim 13 tricks, please. Esther, why are you passing four spades?
Oops. Yes, I was coming to that, Barry. Okay, so... Yes, right. But you've still got a 15 count opposite a one club opening. <coughs> Is it possible for you to construct a hand for West where you can't make five spades? Is it possible? I don't think you can. But if we're, I mean... OCP's general style is to use Italian style cupids. In other words, over three spades, you can cupid four clubs. It's just showing a club control. You don't have to show the heart control first because it's a first round control rather than a second round control. So bid four clubs, West bids four diamonds, you bid four hearts. West bids are rolling four spades. Now you can bid five diamonds. And you end up in seven spades, which is where you should be. But passing four spades is, is um, pessimistic in the extreme. Okay. Uh, somebody wants to sit south, please. Anybody? Should have time for at least one more. Thank you, Douglas. No, that's right. My voice is going. Yeah. Um, just bear with me a second. I'm trying to find a... A particular hand here. Try and get to at least two more in, two more hands.
Very good, well done. Nice sequence. Let's claim 11, Mehmet. Very good. So here, two spaces, just natural. South is maybe a little bit weak on points for two spades, but they're such nice cards that I wouldn't hesitate to bid two spades over one spade normally it shows maybe slightly more points than south actually has but their playing strength is such that uh, it's a perfectly good two spade bid and so south doesn't have to muck about with uh, invitations they can just bid four spades any questions I'm just trying to find another hand here. Um,
textbook sequence. Well done, guys. So up to one no trump was 19 to 21 balanced. Two way, two diamond, and then three spades showing four spades and five cards or longer hearts. <coughs> Nicely done. Okay, claim 12 tricks, please. Okay, so what went wrong here? I think looking at these west hands, this is a slam that you want to be in. So we ought to be bidding to it. How could east west have done this differently? Well, yes, you could have. Actually, the bid I don't like is three hearts. Okay, when... So no, I... Well, what, instead of one diamond, you mean, Douglas? No, two diamonds would show a different hand entirely. Um, the thing is, the double by West is fine. East bids one heart, which is still Cambridge Heart Complex. The one diamond overcall by South doesn't affect us here. So one heart is still a two-way bid. When South bids one spade, West should just pass. Because again, they don't know for certain that East has got hearts. East might be strong balanced. 
So West should pass over one spade to give East the maximum amount of room to show exactly what they have. Now it gets passed back round to East, unless uh, North is going to go off the deep end in spades. Comes back round to East, who is going to rebid three clubs to show an upper range hand with at least 5-5 five, five in hearts and clubs. Now West can bid three diamonds as a cubid because they can, they've got a fit for both of East's suit, suits. Um, now East bids three hearts or three spades maybe even. And there's stuff left for, left for West to cubit. Eventually, West is going to cubit their spade singleton. And at that point, uh, having shown the diamond control already, East will probably end up bidding uh, six hearts. But the point here is that over the one spade bid, West should pass... And now East can uh, show their good hand with at least 5-5. Five, five. West can bid three diamonds. Yeah, sure. Um, in fact, I'll just send it again. Just bid this one again, guys. Now pass is the right action by West. Now in practice, West could bid three hearts here um, if they wanted, but three diamonds is good. Esther, I would bid three hearts, not three spades. Three hearts is rolling here, effectively. So what your three hearts is doing is saying, I don't have the ace of spades. Okay, so that's where it is. What? I lost my thing for putting the pen in. Oh, no. I was looking everywhere for it. It's been stuck to my bloody elbow all this time. <laughs>
Okay, well done, guys. As I was saying before, the other alternative here would actually be three hearts over three clubs. So forget about the diamond cupid to start with. West has shown five to seven with their original double. And East has shown an upper range hand. So effectively, three hearts is forcing. It's just saying... Um, hearts is what I'm agreeing um, rather than clubs because the trouble is is that we've actually embarked on a cubiting sequence where actually it's not clear what suit West is agreeing it's better normally to that's right so I, I would actually bid three hearts rather than three diamonds now East bids three spades, now West bids four diamonds, and East bids six hearts. And we avoid all of that confusion. You know, there are times when you implicitly agree a suit but here it could be either hmm yeah but you don't get that rich I'd rather be in six hearts Okay, guys, I think we're going to leave it there because my voice is going. So, thank you all very much. Thanks, everybody, for sitting. And uh, read up on two diamonds before next week, two diamond opening. And. Uh